going on guys? Today we're doing a guitar lesson for the song Kitchenware and Candy Bars by Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, my audio cut out from the camera, so we're using this microphone instead. We're going to tune up. It's going to be uh, starting with a low E string. It's going to be in standard tuning. Uh, next string down is going to be an A. Play open D. Uh, that's a G. Playing a B right there. And the, the highest one is going to be E. Just regular old standard tuning. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll do the uh, playthrough as we always do and then do a, gu a guitar lesson after that. To do the breakdown actually. I'm going to add some guitar overdubs um, and a few little parts here and there. Okay guys, pretty simple, pretty straightforward uh, guitar riffs. Uh, the first chord you're going to play is going to be an open low E string. 
10th fret on the A string, open D and open G string. So what you're going to do to start this uh, verse off is you're going to hit the low string two times, hit the uh, next three strings two times, repeat that whole, that whole piece right there. So that'll be a total of four, four um, you're hitting the uh, low E string four times and you're hitting the high three strings four times. You're just going two, 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 two. And then on the next one, on the, very th on the third one, the very last time, you're gonna hit that low E string again two times. And then you're gonna hit this chord just once and let it ring out to fill the measure out. Uh, that's going to be the ninth fret on the A string, uh, low, excuse me, D, open D string and open G string. So together that sounds like this. So that that's all you do for the verse. It's pretty straightforward for the verse. Um, now, of course, during the second verse, there's a 12 string guitar. And uh, I got it as best as I could hear it. It's really tough to hear in the mix. But on the second verse, you have a 12-string uh, guitar that's kind of doing this number underneath it. Um, again, that's to my the best of my hearing. So to play that, you're going to slide from 5th to 7th on the A string. And then you're going to hit the uh, the fifth fret on the D string. Hit the open B string. Go back to the fifth fret, and then back to the B. Uh, fifth fret again. So together. You're going to hit that 7th again, play the 7th uh, on, the, on the G string, then you're going to hit the open B, back to the 7th fret, open B again, so Uh, after you hit that open B, you'll hit the seventh again, uh, hit the fifth, uh, and then go to the seventh on the A string. And then you're gonna hit seven on the G string, and then you'll hit the f the fifth the fifth note on the uh, D string. It's kind of it's kind of complicated to um, to kind of keep track of what notes you're hitting when, but to play it in really slow motion, I would do this. Second time around, uh, I hear him doing a little slightly different version. He's still doing the first part the same, but now he adds the uh, seventh fret on the B string. Anyways, I hope that helps. It's not really an important piece to the song. It's just kind of an overdub that he does. Um, so I wouldn't really pay too much mind to it. Really, really cool uh, overdub that he does, and it really adds a lot to the verse. But um, we'll go ahead and move on, uh, move forward from that. The next part of the song is going to be uh, the, the chorus, and that starts on a C power chord, uh, starting on the A string. You're going to hit the third fret, then you'll hit the fifth fret on the D and the G string. And uh, the way he actually comes into the chorus is he plays he like upstrokes the guitar, like he uh, strums up on the guitar strings. So he's just starting on that high E string and letting the E and the, and the B ring open. And then he's hitting the rest of the chord, which goes up to the A string. You don't actually hit the low string during that first chord, so you'd mute it.
So that's the first chord. Uh, the second chord is going to be it's going to be a G power chord, which third fret on the E string and fifth fret on the D, on the A string. And that's all you're going to hit. You're not going to hit anything else. Next chord is going to be a uh, kind of a dissonant uh, F sharp power chord. It's going to be the second fret on the low E string and the fifth fret remaining on the A string. So. After he plays that dissonant chord, uh, he goes to a D power chord, which is uh, fifth fret on the A string, seventh frets on the D and G string, and he's also letting the B and E ring open. Then he returns to that C chord that we started on. This time he's playing a down strum. So to get back into the verse, when he plays that G power chord to an F sharp, instead of going to a D, he just goes right back to the G. Back into the verse. Okay, so that's the verse and the chords. Uh, the next part of the song is uh, the bridge, and that's really simple. You're just staying in an A power chord, which is open A string. Second frets on the uh, D, G, and B strings. Except the only thing you're playing, uh, you're only playing these three strings right here. You're only playing the low A string, the, the D, and the G string. So during this bridge, he starts on the A, so you take that A bass note, and uh, the second chord is the third fret on the low E string is being played over that A chord. Uh, when, you play this, when you play this chord here, you're actually going to mute the A string, so you'd just be playing the uh, third fret on the low E and the second frets on the D and G string. Next chord is very similar, but you're just moving that bass note back one fret to an F sharp, which is the uh, second fret on the low E string. Chord after that is the same type of deal, except you're playing a low E now. You're still muting the A string, and you're playing those second frets. So together, that sounds like uh, this. chord is a little tricky to get to, but as soon as you practice it, it'll be pretty easy to, to make that transition happen. Uh, this chord is basically an F major 7 chord, uh, so you'd basically be playing it like a F bar chord, uh, which is your index finger. Well, we wouldn't get into how to play that because it's a little different than that. What I'm using to play this chord is uh, my thumb on the first fret of the low E string, uh, third frets on the A and D string, second fret on the G, and first fret, first fret on the B string. And the most important key to this is to let that high string, that high E string, ring out open, so you get that uh, major seventh quality. <laughs> So together, out of the bridge, that's going to sound like this. Then it goes back into the verse. Uh, after that, it goes into the chorus. Um, and eventually it gets around to going into the uh, the verse riff, but it's for solo, so you're playing uh, you're playing a little heavier, and it's ba it's the same exact uh, rhythm with the exception of a few different notes here and there. So uh, 
it's going to sound like this. So that's the different note right there. Um, it's the second, the uh, the first time he plays that uh, that nine, the ninth fret on the A string, open D and open G. Instead of just hitting it all together at once and letting it ring out, he's actually playing the top part of that, which is the ninth fret and the open D, and then um, I'd say maybe a quarter note or an eighth note after he'll play the open G string. And it goes back into the chorus. So um, that's really all there is to it. Um, the only the only other thing to add is um, at the very end of the song, out of the chorus, you know that C to G to uh, to D back to C. Um, to go to go out of that last chorus, he goes into that F major seventh chord. So that's going to be a little bit tricky to play. Um, I do play something a little bit different here than the rest of the song. So I'll go ahead and show you that. I'm going to start on the C, is normal. Go to the G, F sharp, D, back to C. At the very end, I will do the G, the F sharp, and then I'll do like a modified uh, E chord here. Which is basically, it's really dissonant because it's a minor second apart from, uh, the notes are a minor second apart, so they're going to sound really kind of nasty. Um, I'm playing a low E string open, third fret on the A string, third fret on the D string, second fret on the G, and uh, yeah, that's all I'm playing for this chord. And then I go to that F major 7. And you just let that ring out, and that's going to end the song for you. Um, so together, that's going to sound like this. That's all I have guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment box below or on my YouTube page. Uh, appreciate you guys watching again, take care.